you're working on a project and uh, let's say you wanted to see documentation of example usage. Here we go. I got this Angular component right here. This is TypeScript and I have uh, items.next. I want to see if I'm using it properly or how other people are using this property or this uh, function, I should say. So I hover my mouse over this next call and I see this little link. See real world examples from GitHub. Let's click on that. And in my VS code, look at this. I get real world examples of behavior subject next. There's four pages of this stuff. Here is one example. Here's another example. All this stuff is from GitHub. And these are open source repositories that you can actually have a look at yourself. So let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's take a look at this one. So I click on that. It takes me right to the line of code in GitHub that's using that. And I can see and maybe even clone this repository to see how it's being used. Or I can just look at it right here in the browser. Now, yes, this example is TypeScript, but this will work for Python, TypeScript, JavaScript, JSX, TSX, and so on. So how does this work? Well, it scans public GitHub repositories, which creates a mapping of function names to code snippets. And these code snippets represent real world usage of those functions. And then the mapping is used to provide the examples you see when using this feature inside VS Code. When you do the hover over the function name, this extension, which I'm about to show you how to use, it sends the name of that function found in public open source repositories to a web service, and then it returns the usage examples to you. Now, if you're worried that there might be some kind of code leak, it'll never actually send your custom functions unless they're open source and they're searchable. So don't worry about that part. Now, how do you get this? Inside VS Code, go to your extensions tab and then type in IntelliCode API usage examples. You can type the whole thing out like that in search or just find it. That's what it's called. 3.7 million downloads right now. And then you just click install and this installs it globally in VS Code. I like to restart VS Code as well. So I press F1 and type in reload window to get a nice fresh VS Code so everything works. And then, then you're able to use it. Like, um, I don't know, console.air, for example. See real world examples from GitHub. And there we go. That's it, folks. I'll be back.